have one of everything here. I have shrimp, pomelo, coriander. Ah. We also chose this place because it's quiet, as you can see. For our pomelo salad, it's got again coriander. It's like okay. size of a pizza. Okay. This was actually a hidden gem that we discovered. I didn't even know this was here and this place is only about 5 minutes away from our house. If you haven't seen the video before this, this is what the entrance looks like. It's pretty common around this area in Timog or Tomas Morato to turn your house into an establishment like a restaurant such as this. I quite like the garden because it's cozy and it's quiet and there's not that much people yet. Maybe because it's the pandemic. Our server said he was serving the special and I'm not quite sure what that meant but it's looking pretty good. You'll start to see a lot of our food arriving. What's special mom? Bula, what's that like? Bula Labon? So when you're dining with us, there's never going to be a shortage of food for sure. Oh, look, he's pouring the soup. He's gonna pour the soup. I think that's a bow and marrow, which is um, not something I ever ordered when I was in Vietnam. Ah. You cannot put it in front of him because it has light, you know? Yes. Also, better put this above. <laughs> Obviously, there's the option to eat inside, but we like it outside because we're still being safe because of the pandemic, right? Yeah. Yeah. And also, it's the weekend, and we could have actually eaten in a more hip place, according to what you would see online, like Makati or BCC. But we also chose this place because it's quiet. As you can see, they were like the third table, um, and there's only three, three, three tables here occupied. We have the whole place to ourselves, so if you want an intimate place and you're worried about COVID, this is an outdoor alfresco place that you can dine in here in Quezon City in Timon or Tomas Oh, there's the dog! Dad, your order's here. Wow, oh, did you order, Dad? What did you put on the bed? I put the bow. What's it called? Bow. So okay. this is a bone marrow um, and then they gave us some sauce and spring, what's this called again? Oh, bean sprouts and some cilantro and this is my mom's Vietnamese rolls and it's got shrimp, lettuce and some, I think it's called rice noodles. Again, I'm turning around, but this is our table setup. It's actually looking really nice. And I can smell the cilantro or coriander. And we also put mint leaves to go with the soup. That's very popular for Vietnamese soup. And I really, really am a fan of Vietnamese food. It's healthy, it's tasty, not that much salt, it's not oily. And I totally recommend it. Oop, something's arriving. Sauce for the yeah, for this. Okay, so there's extra sauce that arrived for the spring roll. Um, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, it's gonna be very sweet and vinegary, right, Mom? What's it made of? The sauce. I little cool. He can't eat right now, but I did feed him. This is not animal cruelty or anything. I fed him so much before we left, so he's had his dinner already. I'm actually waiting for my Vietnamese coffee. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be calorific, but it's okay. Wow. How do you like the taste, Dad? Mm -hmm. Good? It's very Good. malasa. Very malasa? Wow, Mom. Is that your second time to order that? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Only just a bit salty, the sauce. Yeah. Oh. And only put little. Okay. While I was recording, my mom noticed something right behind me. And it's because we also grow the, the exact same thing at home. 
and we have oregano over here look it's as big as my palm or oregano it's kind of cool why are you laughing dada Oh, there's more food. What's this? Again, there's always sauce that goes with the most Asian dishes. Check it out. The pomelo salad is huge. Like I, I don't know if you can see how big this is. But it's like okay. size of a pizza. And let me show you close up how it looks like. Our pomelo salad, it's got again coriander. It's got some shrimp. Obviously pomelo, that's why it's called pomelo salad. And these fish crackers. My personal preference for salad would have been something with mangoes and chicken, so savory and sweet, but this one is equally good. I just don't fancy the vinegar too much. Okay, I didn't mean to use slam the restaurant, but I really am trying to be as environmental as possible. We need some catching up to do with being sustainable. Please use paper, bamboo, steel, anything but plastic. Nevertheless, it is delicious. Mm. Yum. Actually, if they also don't have any of those other sustainable options, just don't give me any straw. I'd gladly drink it from the glass. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's really, really fragrant. It's so good. Of course, it's not the same as what you would get in Vietnam, but close enough. It's delicious. Here they also have the noodles inside. The noodles here is like fettuccine, but it's more of like rice noodles. Yeah. Okay, so this is the sauce. Okay, so I have one of everything here. I have shrimp, pomelo, coriander, the rest of the vegetables like cucumber and carrot. Good. Mm -mm. This is just wow. It's really good. I know some people who don't like coriander, which is a bit of a shame because I love coriander or cilantro. Where's the flavor? Mm -hmm. Guess who arrived? My brother makes it. Where'd it come from? The sauce actually tastes like hoisin sauce. It's just like salty and sweet, so... Two or four. Mmm. There's a lot of noodles in this. It's very carby. It's Wipeout. Dad, did you finish that all yourself? Are you enjoying your salad? Very good. Very malasa. Ordering a bow and marrow is not something I would do, but it's pretty popular in the Philippines with the bulalo. It's like instant gratification with sugar. It was all I had when I was in Hanoi, Vietnam. I can't even remember, it must have been years ago when I was in Hanoi. The only issue when you're here is that if the car in front has to leave, then all the other cars at the back will have to reverse. So if you couldn't be bothered with your dinner being interrupted, then I guess you should find a parking space somewhere else. And just make sure you're not blocking. Yeah, you probably have to park your car outside. After dinner, there's always room for dessert and we got coffee. This is our coffee pudding. The funny thing is um, it's very pointy like this and we ordered two. So I'm actually going to put them together because they kind of look like 
boobies. <laughs> hope I don't get that. Hope I don't get that. Yeah, censored. My dad's laughing at me. For saying foul language by saying bosoms. So, that you find it entertaining. Well, anyway, I'm gonna put them together and make it look like um, bosoms. Tada! <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Uh, our, our coffee jelly. From the yellow thing, that yellow thing. Yeah, I think it's a custard. Custard. So yeah, it's definitely looking very coffee-ish. And they put mint on top. So my dad appreciates all kinds of food, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's gonna say it's delicious. Mm. How's that? It's very good. good. Um, coffee sweetness. It's excellent. So, let's dig in. So, I am really hoping that this is decaffeinated. I know it's a dessert, but I've had coffee ko. Mm, oh my gosh, it's really coffee. I've had coffee ko, which is this Indonesian candy. My heart is palpitating because it's made out of real coffee. So, I'm hoping that this is decaffeinated coffee jelly. It's so yummy. Love, love, love. Mm. Okay, out of everything, I super recommend this one. Good. Now she's gonna try it with the mint now. Oh, it is overwhelming. It's supposed to be garnish. Some people might think it's just garnish, but I think it's gonna add to the flavor. Oh my god, it's overwhelming. <laughs> One yeah, my mom's right. We kind of took the whole thing. We have just like one leaf, it's fine. We're finally done with our dinner and we are now going to be paying for our bill. What's kind of cool is that they offer G-Cash. So in the Philippines, yeah, I guess it's common to have credit card, but it's probably more common to have G-Cash. So how it works is they have your, your globe. So G means globe. And then, yeah, that's how we're gonna be paying. It's Gcash, so load up your Gcash. So that's the end of our dinner. Everyone's getting ready to go. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.